This video is going to attempt to explain the main circle theorems you need to know about to pass your GCSE maths at the higher tier. So the first one I'm going to look at is angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. And that could look like any of these three situations here. And it means that angle there is twice as big as that angle there. Now this is the type of situation that often gets missed. That angle there is twice as big as that angle there. Now this is also known as triangle inside a semicircle is right angled because that would be a right angle but that line there is also 180 degrees so again the angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. Now I've included this diagram on this page because quite often these two get mixed up. Um, this one is angles joined by the same arc are equal. So there's the arc and the two angles joined are equal. It does look similar to this but you'll notice there's no center point marked and that's really the only way of telling them apart. Okay, The next one I want to look at is opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. So that angle and that angle add up to 180 degrees and that angle and that angle add to 180 degrees. Now quite often you'll see this like this in an exam and what they've done is they've included this situation where the angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. So that angle and that angle add up to 180 still and this purple angle is double that angle at the circumference there and this red angle is double this green angle down here. So you need to be aware of which circle theorem you're looking for. If it's a four-sided shape all the points on the circle then you're probably looking at this one opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. If they've added a couple of radiuses in because that's what these are from the center to the circumference it's a radius then you're probably going to be looking at this situation as well where the angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. Now the next type of circle theorem is one involving a line touching the circle. Now a line touching the circle is called a tangent and a tangent always meets a radius which is from the center to the circumference always meets it at right angles so that there would be another right angle so you've got two right angle triangles this length here from there to there is the same as this length here from there to there and this line straight up the middle bisects that angle so that angle there is the same size as that angle there <clears throat> and it's not marked on this diagram but quite often you need to be aware of this notation I've just added two there to show those lines are the same length you could add two there or you may be given them and they would be the same length because they're both the radius of the circle if I joined those two points across you've got a situation now where you've got an isosceles triangle so that little angle there and that little angle there would be the same. Often quite useful in answering questions like that. Now alternate segment theorems, the one that doesn't come up very often, or I tend not to see it very often in exam papers, and it means when you've got a tangent and a triangle, that's the best way of spotting it, so a tangent and a triangle, this angle here is equal to that angle there, and that angle there is equal to that angle there and obviously because the tangent's a straight line if I added that in there those three angles would add up to 180. Now really the only way of getting good at these is practicing them um, you'll find attached at the bottom of the page some example questions um, so I've deliberately left the questions off these ones. Um, if we look at this 
picture here, first thing I see is I've got four points on the circumference of a circle. So I know opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral equal. So opposite to that 130 is this angle up here. So that must be 50. And then I've also got this situation here involving the centre, where the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. So that must be 100 degrees. Um, now you've probably included everything on that diagram that you're likely to be asked about in a question. Here we've got a very similar situation to there. We're being asked for x, fairly straightforward, it's 140 degrees because the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. And now we're using the four points on the circumference of the circle, so a cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles add to 180, so that 70 has to add <coughs> to y to make 180, making that 110 degrees. Now, quite a few things in this diagram here. First of all, we've got a tangent meeting a radius, so that makes that a right angle triangle. And we've also got angle at the centre, this one here, being double the angle there. So first of all, we could work out that angle there. So right angle triangle, 180, take away 90, take away 36, leaves us with 54. So that angle there must be 54 which means we can half it to work out that angle there, which means that angle there is 27 degrees. Now let's look at this last set of questions. Now, on this one, we've got angles joined by the same arc are equal. So that one there must be 54 degrees. And if we need it, these two are joined by that arc. That one there must be 28 degrees. Um, Again, we've already looked at a couple of these. Angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. So half of 168 is 84. So that angle there must be 84 degrees. And now we've got four points on the circumference of a circle. So it's a cyclic quadrilateral. So the opposite angles must add to 180. So that one there must be 96 degrees. And this last situation, we've got lots of things happening here. We've got a radius there, we've got a tangent there, so we've got a right angle there and a right angle there. Um, so you could work out this angle here and you could work out this angle here, it would be the same. So that is 56 degrees, so that's 56 degrees. And I believe this exam question was asking for angle DOA, which is this angle here. If those two add to 112, that leaves you with 68 degrees there.